Hello SRS, welcome to a video tutorial on the new Streamliner reporting system. We are excited to see you make good use of these dashboards and reports and keen to see the benefits that it may offer to the business. Alright, so we've got two systems. Firstly, we've got a Streamliner activity system which will show us details about task completion, red flag escalation and overall compliance. We've also got a check-in analysis system, which will give us a lot of detail about the check-ins of your field staff, and you'll be able to zone in on compliance in that regard as well. All right, so let's, let's begin with the Streamline Activity model, this model right here. Let's have a look. Okay, so as soon as we get into the Streamline Activity model, we've got a few tabs right on top namely dashboard tasks general red flags and task red flags and we can click on these tabs to toggle between the different pages on the left hand side of the page in this area right here we've got search filters um, and we can click on a store for example place we can click on regions we can click on province and we can select etc. We've got mixed filters right here and you can go principal, upload IDs, or star filters where we can select by manager, reporter, etc. Generally you don't need to select too many filters um, but I'll show you an example of how a filter might work. If I click on Gauteng here for example, all my information there changes to Gauteng <coughs> and I'm only seeing a dashboard for Gauteng. Whatever I've selected, whatever filters I've clicked on will appear in the selection box. Um, if I need to remove the filters or anywhere I'm a bit confused and I don't know what filters I have and I want to just um, refresh and go back to all the information, I can just simply click the clear button right here and it removes it. Okay, so this is basically a very brief um, introduction to the system and I'm sure we will have um, more sessions or more videos in the future that will target um, each page and every single aspect of the system individually but I thought I'd give um, a basic run through and the rest should be uh, more or less self-explanatory let's have a look at this dashboard and let's go through it together so we've got total tasks this I am currently the data on here is with test data sample data um, so just if you're wondering about the numbers. So we've got total tasks 7,317. For what period? It's January and February. If I only want to see January, I can click on January only. And that then changes to 600 and 6,621. And as I can see in my selection box now, January, the month of January has been selected. Again, if I'd like to clear it, clear button and I'm done. So let's go through it quickly. So these are the total tasks that were loaded. Um, and we, com we can compare to the, uh, this is the current 30 days versus the previous 30 days, etc. We can see um, information there. Same with red flags and task red flags and general red flags. I've also got some information here that shows me tasks that were created versus resolved. So I can see compliance. Um, open tasks was closed. So tasks that were completed and versus not completed. And I've got a little bar here. Got some more information that I can read through and understand. At times I will find a little switcher and if I click on this I'm able to change the type of graph so if you see that you can click and you can see a different type of uh, graph. I've also got the switcher at the bottom here which I can change so currently it's showing me um, created versus resolved by weekday. So if I'd like to see so as we can see on a Wednesday most of the tasks have are created for example on this if I'd like to see across um, the month perhaps I'm looking at the year now and I'm tracking so as we can see most of the tasks were created in January remember this is all sample data right okay let's move on to the next tab which is tasks so I click on tasks remember I'm still looking at January data because I still have that information if I'd like to see all I can just simply click clear that is now all the data I have so total compliance this is out of the tasks that were sent how many were closed how many were completed so according to the sample data 55.2 percent completed so for management you can just log in look at the dashboard 
a quick view at tasks and you can see what's going on. If I'd like to see on specific regions, I can do that as well by just selecting the filters and I will be able to see my compliance in the specific provinces. So for example, in Gauteng, I've got 97%. If I'd like to see both Gauteng as well as Eastern Cape, I can select both of them as well and now I can see it goes to 99.8% for example. I'm going to clear all these filters now. I've also got task contribution by class. We've got different type of tasks, ad hoc surveys, you can go through that and understand it. Um, how many were sent out versus percentage of contribution. I've also got the resolve versus unresolved compliance by each of these different classification task types. Um, furthermore, I've got some graphics here that show a good picture of how many is open, what is closed, um, and what is closed, what is open, and what is red flagged, and I've got a graphic in percentage as well as in count form. I've also got each upload ID, and my admin teams would know uh, the upload IDs, what do they mean. Um, every task that is loaded, we get a upload ID generated from Streamliner, and these upload IDs, I can, um, I can view the compliance per upload ID, per task, and I can scroll. So we can see we've got a scroll bar here. I've also got top 15 resolvers. Um, who are the top people that are completing tasks? Remember, this is sample data, but you can see that as well. If I would like to see who are the, who's the top person completing a task for, um, for this specific task, this upload ID, if I click on this upload ID, then the filter will apply here as well. So everything then changes. So now I can see who's the top person completing in top 15 resolvers, people that completed the task only for that upload ID. Again, to clear, I simply clear. So the system's very, um, very good like that. I can select um, various areas and click on it and it will apply the, it will apply the filter for me. Um, furthermore, with this information, I can export it. So if I, if I right click on this and, s and say send to Excel, so some of you would be familiar with the reports that I not the reports, but um, the compliance that I would send to you. Um, I would find simply now I don't need to send these to you too often because um, they're always there for you to see. So that's all exported. And you can use this data however you need to. Okay, so everything can be exported. Um, within the task tab, uh, we've got a link to analytics and dynamics. And this is just to show some um, some more detailed data um, looking at um, trends and uh, differences I'll, I'll show you let's click on go to analytics and dynamics this is for tasks and then takes me to a page with a lot of graphics graphs and remember we've got all these switches in here so I can click weekday to, to date to month etc um, this is when are most of my tasks closed. So resolved, as we can see, most of the time, um, the, the day with the highest resolution date is Wednesday, according to the sample data. And I've got some more information here. Um, times, when, it, when is it selected by times? And remember, I can toggle between different graphs. So I can click this and it will show me a different type of graph. Um, and yeah, I can see what times do we complete tasks the most. So perhaps uh, extra information, but um, could be beneficial for perhaps management. Contribution by province, um, and we can change this here as well. Again, we've got the switcher by principle, um, and they will show you various principles or clients. Resolve is unresolved by province, and also by principle we can click as well. Compliance by type, etc, etc, etc. So these analytics could be very useful and once we get under to understanding the system, we could use this information to our benefit. Okay, let's click on general red flags. So on general red flags, we all understand, admin team specifically, we understand what is a general red flag. It's not linked to a specific task, it is a red flag, so um, manager doesn't want to allow them in store, etc, 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 etc. And for now we've got the break flags included within here. Um, in the second version of this system we will have um, break flags as a separate tab and all that information will be shown separately. So I don't need to go through too much here, you understand that and we've also got analytics within general red flags which we can go through and have a look. We've got a heat map here that shows which days are 
um, we have m more um, red flags. We can select a specific person and see if someone is um, has the same issue consistently. We can select a specific store, um, and we can identify we can identify areas that need to be addressed easily this way. Okay, a lot more information here. You've got the, the graphs that can be changed. You've got the switches where you can change what you're looking for, but you understand this now. So we'll move forward now to task red flags, and these are by our tasks. Tasks sent to people that and they cannot complete them, and we have the red flag by upload ID, which is, again, very beneficial specifically for our admin department, so please use this. Um, we've got the totals, we've got um, current 30 days versus the previous, and we can see all that information. Okay, we've also got contribution by type, etc. So. I do feel that it's pretty simple for everyone to understand. Just to recap quickly, on the left hand side I've got all my filters, my search filters. On the top I've got my tabs, I've got more filters on um, just below the tabs with year, quarters, um, month, days, etc, etc, etc. Alright, um, currently still um, sample data, only sample data that we're using, um, but please get familiar with the system. Um, by Monday uh, this coming Monday, the 7th, we will hopefully have all our current data um, populated into the system and we will be able to determine, um, you will be able to use this now with actual data. But for now, please get familiar with the system. All right, thank you very much.